the leakers, the many, many leakers inside the federal government overplayed their hand. British police are apparently cutting off intelligence related to the Manchester attacks of Monday because intelligence officials in this country couldn't keep themselves from leaking a lot of what they learned straight to the press. Prime Minister of Great Britain, Theresa May, chastened the United States today. Watch. We have a special relationship with the USA. It is our deepest uh, uh, defense and security partnership that we have. Of course, that partnership is built on trust. And part of that trust is knowing that intelligence can be shared confidently. And I will be making clear to President Trump today that intelligence that is shared between law enforcement agencies must remain secure. So what is this about and how badly is it hurting the U.S. government, not just the Trump administration, but all of us abroad? Brian Dean Wright is a former CIA officer and he joins us now. Brian, thanks all for coming on. So I'm confused even you by bet. the motive of some of these leaks. I mean, some of them are clearly designed to hurt the new president. Some of them just seem nihilistic and designed to hurt the country itself. What is this about? Nobody thinks of consequences anymore, do they? Because if you think about that, why did the New York Times run a piece with uh, you know, bloody clothes and bloody batteries? Look, it was not in the interest of the nation to see those kinds of details, certainly not at this point and arguably ever. So what was that really about? Uh, it was about ego. It was about trying to make money. The New York Times you know, knows that if they get more viewers on their, their website or otherwise, more advertisers are going to come to them and more people are going to pay more money for it. So this was not about you know, informing the American people or people around the world about something that was very important. It was about money and greed. Journalism has become greed in far too many parts of our country. That is deeply disturbing. But the stories, and I, of course I agree with that assessment completely, but, but the stories that they ran were based on leaks of confidential information from apparently from the U.S. government. And I would bet you anything they're career people, not appointees. I mean, I don't, I'm not like defending the, the Trump people or making a partisan point. I'm making it a point as an American. Yeah. This is hurting our country. I don't think there's any denying that at this point. You're absolutely right. Historically, leaks tend to come from either the Hill or from the White House. And what I think right. that we have seen in the past six months is that we've got some leakers in our national security apparatuses. And, and I think that they're doing it, uh, again, for purposes of their own ego to make themselves feel good. Um, or because they're weaponizing political uh, information or intelligence. But I, I have to tell you that they need to remind themselves and whoever is both leaking this and, might I remind you, whoever's publishing this, that there are grave consequences for these choices. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're an informant, right? You're working abroad and you know either that your information is going to be leaked or potentially could be leaked. Do you want to sign up for that? Do you want to go to that next right. meeting with a CIA officer, an MI5 officer? Or would you want to work with the CIA or the, or the MI5 or MI6 guys? The answer is maybe not. No, so it's that's the why this has consequences. That's why this matters. And, and you sure, make the smart point, it which is, it does. In years past, it was the political people who were doing the leaking. And now I used to laugh at the idea of a deep state. And then you watch this and you think, I mean, that, that's literally what it is. So let me ask you a final question. Why can't the identity of these people be rooted out. If, I, if I'm in a conflict with the IRS, they can pull my easy pass records, my phone records, they, they can find out everything about me. We can't figure out who's doing this because why? This has to be a priority by the FBI, and that's really what this comes down to. And it's a hard thing to find leakers, but there are tools out there. For instance, even people within the previous administration or this one, they still have their uh, security clearances, even if they don't work uh, for the government anymore. Those folks can be called to task. They can actually even be polygraphed. So there are options, but it has to be a priority. And the FBI has to step up their game. Department of Justice has to make a priority. But no doubt about it, journalists have a certain degree of protection of their sources. But there is a breaking point, isn't there? I think as a society, we want information, but there's a point when it goes too far. And I think this, the, the line has been crossed. Yeah, when other countries won't share their relevant intelligence with us, I, I, would, say that's, I, was, I would say that's the line. Brian, thank you. You would think. Yeah, you thank would. Thank you.